All right, well, uh, hello Twitch and YouTube. I'm really excited because I just got alpha permission for a game called Sky Saga here. And from looking at the promotions, um, <clears throat> it's going to be a really fun kids game. And it looks like Skylanders meets Minecraft. Now, I might be wrong about that. But from looking at their promo videos and how the guys are kind of blocky and some of them go digging around and stuff, it looks from the promotion like that's what it's going to be. Um, you can see the graphics are, you know, uh, a fun kid style. Um, so I just logged in the game. Um, I just got my alpha access a few minutes ago and I wanted to do a short video with you guys for characters creation because as soon as I log in that's what it wants me to do and I didn't want to miss out on showing this to you guys on YouTube and Twitch um, so what I'm seeing so far it um, you know keep in mind this is alpha so more stuff is gonna be added this isn't it this is not final um, you know but at the moment this is what we have um, first off, uh, you can be a guy or a girl, um, you know, so it'll take care of both boys and girls. Um, I'll go through the options real quick. Uh, you can see uh, boys can be a tiger here, they can be a human, or they can be a lizard, which I'm guessing, the, you know, these are all going to be popular with the kids. Um, for tigers, uh, you can have this big fro do. You can have your hair tied up in a thing like that, or you can have a little mohawk with feathers. So I thought I thought that was that was pretty cool. Uh, you can change his colors. He can be blue, brown, uh, kind of beige, uh, orange, uh, or a lighter kind of yellowish uh, color. Uh, you can also change his hair color. You know, here's all, all the the different hair colors he can even have uh, you know yellow hair blue skin you know so I mean these do look r rather neat you can change his eyes they can be blue green yellow red um, here's the lizard uh, the lizard he can be uh, brown green I like the green Lizzie purple red or yellow uh, he can have a mohawk down the middle he can have horns on the side or he can have like this you know classic uh, kind of like a chameleon type hood uh, you can also change the hair color there that's brown and then green and purple uh, let's oh I get I guess you you don't have hair colors with the mohawk or the horns you only have hair colors with the hood uh, red or yellow. Now, ho hopefully they'll change it so that you get some hair colors with this, I would hope. Um, what else we got? Um, oh, and of course, you, you have the same selection for his eyes. Um, now, let's uh, pick the human. The human, you can be a dark brown. Um, you can have a paler color. You can have a beige or kind of a tan which uh, there's not a lot of difference between these two but you know it's a, it's enough that it might make a difference for some people you only have three eye colors uh, you're either blue brown or green that's kinda greenish yellowish um, hairstyles you can have that hairstyle there you can have this as kind of a cone point in the front or you can have this one um, <clears throat> we also have for hair colors brown, yellow, uh, this kind of a dark chocolate, red, uh, it looks kind of grayish on the button, but uh, I don't know, that looks, looks a little more brown to me, and yellow. So that that's it, and then to show you the girls, um, the the girl uh, human character I think is really cute you know that ought to re re resonate with uh, a lot of young kids uh, she she's got 
that hairstyle there. She's got the shorter hairstyle. And then she's got uh, this one, kind of like a little bob. Um, hair colors are the same options as the boy. And so are the eye color choices. And I'm guessing probably most people are going to want the blue because it kind of like with the anime thing, it's either blue or brown usually. Um, she also has the same skin color choices. And for the girl Tiger, um, you know, it looks a, a little different than the boy. There's the boy, here's the girl, you know, so the girl does look girly. Um, she can get that kind of mohawk. She can have this, which is kind of a more stylish mohawk. Or she can have a kind of a fro bushy hairdo as well. Hair colors, um, you know, they're the same as before. And just click through them there so you can see them. Eye colors, everything from uh, blue to yellow. You know, with the tigers, though, they just kind of have like a white middle. They don't really have a pupil. Um, she can also be blue, uh, brown, gray, or yellow. And the girl Lizzie, uh, if you want to compare real quick, there's the boy, here's the girl. So the girl does look girly. Um, she can have this kind of side, uh, sideways mohawk, um, another sideways mohawk, or she can have kind of like a mohawk down the middle, which is probably supposed to be more like a fan gill. Um, her hair color, let's see here, let's change it. There we go, so we can see it. Um, you know, her hair color seems to show up a little more, which is probably more appropriate for the girl. Um, skin tone, she can be brown, green, purple, red, or yellow. All right, and that's it. So right now you just got those three tribes. I'm going to make a boy and oh do I want to be the tiger or the lizard or the human what do I want to be hmm kind of like the green Lizzie but I also kind of like the tiger guy oh. and then of course you got the guy Uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and pick a guy. There we go. That kind of looks looks normal. Although, you know what? I'm kind of tempted to pick maybe the Lizzie or the Tiger. Oh, what do I want to pick? Uh, no. No, I'm, I'm not a developer. Um, I just saw a tweet. Uh, for Sky Saga, and um, <clears throat> I, uh, you know, responded to it. Um, they're probably still looking for more people for alpha testing. If you go to skysaga.com, there's links right on there to sign up. Um, I got my alpha invite within 24 hours of when I uh, signed up. Um, and as far as I know, it's it's open to everybody. Uh, so if you're interested and it looks fun, and you know this sounds like something that's fun to you, um, you know you could probably get involved. Uh, they're doing <clears throat> North American testing right now. It is a port from another country, um, but it it looks like it's going to be fun. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue here. I'll go with the tiger. I don't know if you can pick more than one guy yet um hmm what's this which photo is cooler pandak forest or social hub oh that looks kind of neat in the air this looks kind of neat too let's go to the forest oh my crash site this is different um, the, the only thing with it being an alpha test is that um, if you do go and sign up for it, um, it is possible that they might wipe out what you do. So, you know, you, you got to be aware of that and realize that you might lose all your progress. Um, 
but uh, you know I just got my invite and decided to get in here and uh, go through character creation and give this a shot show it to my son and see what he thinks um, this is supposed to be a free a free to play game um, they are gonna monetize it in the future because you know they they, they have to make money some way um, but they they say that they're gonna make it so that it's not pay to win or anything like that but uh, you know being that it is gonna be free and it does look kinda Skylandish um, you know, this is probably going to be really popular with the kids. This kind of looks like Minecraft and Skylanders mixed together. So let's uh, pick this up. What did I get? You need to fix your damaged airship. So I got a sharp rock. Go over here and hit E. Alright, I fixed it. What do I got to do? Drag a resource over. Um, okay. Drag resources below the airship. Do I drag it down here? Where do I drag it? Place crystal here. Alright, it looks like it did it. Open your rucksack with R and drag the sharp rock to either hand on your hot bar. Yeah, I think I did that. Alright, it looks like I did it. No? Didn't I? I thought I did it. Didn't I do it? Place crystal here. Alright, there, there are no crystals. Okay, I'm not quite sure what I just clicked on there. Open your rucksack with R. Alright, I did that, right? Do I need to go find more? Okay, I'm kind of confused here because I thought I did it, but then it disappeared. Oh, let's go run around and see what else we find. Maybe there's more rocks around here. That looks like that goes all the way out the bottom of the world. It's still telling me the same thing up there on the uh, quest guide. Oh wait, here's here's another. Okay, so I got another one. Okay, here's another here. Maybe I just didn't give it enough. Alright, I got two more, so that'll make three. You know, I wonder, now scrolling the wheel just does that, was wondering if, oh, was wondering if you could change your uh, field of view. Alright. A shard of earth stone that can be held and used as a basic tool. like I lost them. I just put it there and uh, disappeared. Uh, oh no. Looks like I lost my shards. Well, it is alpha testing. So I guess that's what happens. Oh no, I can't, can't click repair. Sharp rock. Oh shoot. Well, it looks like I lost my rocks. Uh, maybe I can go find more. So, apparently you cannot put them in one at a time. Alright, so there's one, two. 
Oh, and you do have night and day here. Let's see, is there any back here? Oh, I wonder if there's like a flashlight or something. Oh, that's kind of dark. Okay, here's another one here. Alright, so now I got three. Now we'll see. Maybe, maybe you have to actually have all three at one time. Okay, now I got three. Oh! Ah. Drag resources below. Hmm. Place crystals here for more information. Press. Looks like this. No? Let's see. Well. I drug it over there. And it's not. And if I put them down here, I bet they're, they're going di to disappear again. No? They they didn't disappear. Double clicking's not doing it. just happened. Oh, my rocks disappeared. Ah, oh, shit. That's kind of unfortunate. It seems like I've run into a game bug right off the bat. Okay, I can get more of these. There's extra. Looks like there's uh, something over there. What can you do with this? Don't seem to be able to smack it or anything. Alright, go up here again. Open your rucksack with R and drag the sharp rock to... Oh, I didn't follow the instructions. That's the problem. It says to either hand on your hotbar. Okay, so that was totally my fault. I don't know if you guys saw that and are sitting there laughing at me or what. But uh, when it opened up this window here and I saw the little slot for the crystal, I was thinking I needed to drag it over and fill that, but um, the instructions, if you read them up there, said to drag it to your hand, so that was my fault. Alright, so now... Okay, now what? Repair the damaged airship. Okay. So now what do I do? You need a pickaxe to mine this rock. Repair damaged airship. Um, what's this say? Hmm. See what the log says. You can improve this tool. Use the sharp rock on a tree, then collect wood planks. Okay, so if I go to a tree. Okay, so I go to a tree. Oh, look, look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm upgrading my tool. Man, th this is like Minecraft. 
Okay, so I got those. The Rucksack R also has a hand crafting menu. Use it to make a stone pickaxe. Okay, where is the hand crafting menu? Loot, quest. That sharp rock's a good start, but you can upgrade it to make it even more useful. Now that you have planks of wood, you can craft and equip a stone pickaxe R. Okay, star task to track it as you play. Okay, so how do I do that? <clears throat> okay, select recipe over here. Okay, so I do that, click that, click this, and then drag resources below. Alright, so I just drag that over there, and craft. Now oh, look at that. I don't think I've ever crafted an item in any game that fast before. Now, I got a stone pickaxe that can be used to harvest stone and other basic resources. Okay, so should I maybe equip that? Okay, so, shit, what did that say? Harvest and collect these on your adventures to build new devices, weapons, and just about everything. I already got the wood plank, so now I can start craft, crafting all this stuff, I guess. Man, this is, this is a lot like Minecraft. I see something blinking over here. What? What is that? Firefly? What, um... Onward to adventure. Explore the underground ruins and mine sky iron ore. Alright, but I thought I was supposed to be fixing my airship. So how am I gonna... How am I gonna do that? Oh, I need crystals. And I don't have crystals. So, okay, I, I see what they're doing. I'll probably find those when I'm mining. So that's, that's why they have you start off with the rocks and stuff like that. So, now I see a treasure chest. Looks like it's here. Oh, looky! It's just like Minecraft! Um... Can I grab any of this stuff? Or do I just get it? That looks like there's a, uh... Uh-oh. Do I got myself stuck? Alright. Yes, I did. I had myself stuck. Can I smack a sheep now? Oh, I killed sheep. I'm, I'm killing sheep. What did that get me? What did I get? I got white wool. You know, this is actually kind of fun. My son's been wanting me to play uh, Minecraft. But, uh... Am I getting this stuff? Oh yeah, look. Okay, so now all that stuff that I was just smacking around, it automatically went to my inventory. I didn't have to mess around with picking it up or any of that junk. The, the chest is underground, Wrangler? Hey, I see you're in... I'm, I'm assuming your name means you're in Texas. I'm in San Antonio, by the way. Um, I, d I just got my alpha, 
so uh, I decided to come on here and do a little, uh, you know, first entry type thing and uh, ch check it out. So far, I like this. My son's been wanting me to play Minecraft, but, uh, you know, I, I like this. I noticed day and night changes pretty quick, so here's a mailbox. I don't have any mail. How do you send mail? Oh, I just grabbed the mailbox? <laughs> did I just loot the mailbox? I did. I looted the mailbox. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that. Um, it seems like there's going to be a little bit of a, a learning curve here. I'm going to go down in here. This is pro probably... Oh, wow. So, so I'm guessing all this stuff is harvestable. Oh, that is so cool. What did I get from that? Blue fabric dye. Wow, so this game is going to be really heavy on crafting. And I also got lamb. You can get wool, you can get lamb, different kinds of stone. Oh, wow, well, wow, what did I get there? I just got bone fragments, that's probably going to be, you know, it tells you when you're hovering over it, you can hit C. It doesn't say that it makes anything yet, but I'm sure that it will in the future. Wow, this is uh, really interesting, the way this works. Uh, let's see, let's smack this and see what it does. What did I just get? I got more dye. Oh, what's down here? Well, this looks cool. Oh, there, there's that chest that I saw, so... Oh, got a chest. Um, what to get? Sky Iron Crude Short Sword. Tools and weapons. It's made from iron. This sword isn't very good. But it's useful for parts. Okay. Um, I guess you gotta drag it. A groundwood plank shield. A very basic shield constructed from wood. So, I wonder how you equip that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. It looks like I got another... Oh, wow. I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Amazing contraptions will help you construct tools, weapons, and more. So, apparently... Oh, it shows you what you need to make all this stuff. Oh, wow, this game is going to be really in-depth. Oh, boy. Stone shield? So you need this and this times four, so I just, I need more of those. Wood, metal bolts. That's interesting. So I guess to get rid of this little exclamation mark, you just read through and it lets you know what all you got. Huh. So can I snag that torch? Sure can. Oh, look. Oh, uh-oh. Um. <laughs> Shoot, my light went out. Now what do I do? Um, let's see if I can equip that. Can I equip it? Oh, yeah, look. I equipped it. I put it in my hand. Now, I want to put that in my right. And I want my stone pickaxe in my left. 
All right, so now I got got that and that. Okay. So, man. Okay, well that's a good place to stop for this show, but make sure to come back and watch the next episode. And thank you for watching Crush'em TV. Make sure to subscribe or follow, whether you watch on Twitch or YouTube, and sign up for Twitter so that you get updates. I thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and supporting the channel and what I do. If you have any suggestions, anything you want to see, or just want to send me a message, you can hit me through every one of those forums. So you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.